All right, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video, guys. Today we have Mr. Melancholy. He wants us to go over to Bishop's uh, Rest, I believe. Bishop's Rest. A group of bishops that have consumed an ermine soul fruit fragment have dominion over this domain. When defeated, the digested fragments will manifest themselves as volatile, high-energy crystal cores. Let's teleport over. Okay, because we have bishops here, we're going to be going with shield-type heroes. And probably we'll grab... Um, some shield stuff on the energy amplifier itself. Okay, so it looks like we're recommended Electro, Cryo, and Geo characters here. Defeated Geo Bishop hatchlings will drop unstable high energy crystal cores that will explode when characters get near them, dealing Geo damage to nearby characters. Okay, so do not go by the high energy crystal cores from here and here. Okay, for the energy amplifier, let's go ahead and uh, select a couple different fragments here. I'm not going to go ahead and read all of them, but uh, let's go ahead and read whatever we choose. Let's go ahead and pick um, Hunter's Romp. After characters use charge attacks to defeat opponents, the charge attacks of all characters in the party will be increased by 35% for 60 seconds. One whole minute. Each of these effects can stack up to five times. I almost said 50 there. <laughs> 50 would be crazy. Okay. Each of these effects can stack up to five times. It can be triggered once every 0 0.3 seconds. All right. Let's go with that one. Quip. All right. Click to view energy amplifier co-op configuration. This configuration will only take effect when you enter the event domain in a group. Okay. So it looks like we have um, 750 motor force remaining. That took 250 motor force. So I guess we get three of these. Go ahead with Whirlpool. Defeating opponents with a character's charged attack will create a vacuum field that pulls nearby opponents in and deals damage based on 500% of the character's attack. This effect can be triggered once every two seconds. This effect's cooldown is shared between all characters inside the party. Okay, when a character protected by a shield hits an opponent with a normal attack, their attack is increased by 10%. This effect can stack up to five times and last for eight seconds. Its effect and its stacks and its duration are independently calculated for every character. Go ahead and equip that one too. Alright, character normal and charge attack damage against opponents affected by cryo are increased by 30%. We'll go with that one too. A 150, can we add a fourth one? Can't, okay. Let's go ahead and add three of the green ones down below. All right, let's go with um, Elemental Mastery increased by 100. All party members' shield strength increased by 35%. And let's go with uh, all characters in the party have the damage dealt by their normal attacks increased by 30%. And we'll roll with that configuration there. Okay, we got a door of resurrection. We activated it. Going across a little bridge here, climbing upwards. Like we have an arena. Water. Like there's a bridge over here. Go across. You can't run. Steadiest. Up, get the archers. Leave it all to me. I'll catch up. I've got some loot in the barrels. Go ahead and grab that kind of stuff. Pop over to Zhongli, get the shield up. Oh shit, took too long. I 
Just leave no Solidify. I will have order. Alright, let's take the wind upwards and go to the next area. What is that right there? Wow. Not as bad as it looked. Way more intimidating looking than it was. <laughs> said that the Dio Bishop hatchlings will leave some kind of a bomb on the ground when they die, so I don't want to run into that. Someone died against the wall. That's a good position on that. Got the big boy. Judgment, punishment. Leave it all to me. Quake. Time to clean.
Double checking to make sure we don't miss no chest like in the way somewhere. Go ahead and leave the domain now. Okay, we got to report back to Rossini. All right, let's see what he has to say. Uh, my apologies once again, Mr. Hosini. The Adventurer's Guild will not shirk our responsibility to you in this incident. Traveler, could I trouble you to please gather any further Ermensoul fruit fragments you come across during your travels? By using the energy amplifier to challenge domains that I even wouldn't dare enter, you will be able to provide Hosini with further data. I have no doubt this will be of great service to him. Understood. Your support is greatly appreciated, Traveler. Safe travels, and Ad Astra Abyssosk. Okay, the power of the Ermin Soul Fruit Fragments have twisted this domain, creating bizarre traps and constantly attracting powerful enemies to dwell within. If you wish to plumb its depths, you too must possess the power of the Ermin Soul Fruit. Looks like combined score attained. 1,000. For every 1,000, you get 500 of the fractured fruit datas. Up until 6. Then uh, it goes to 450. Down to 400, and it looks like we have a celebration fruit of wisdom, a name card. What knowledge might the fruit of wisdom bring were it to descend upon the land? Either way, it'll taste good as the drinks if left in Diona's hands. These turn into drinks. All right. We will check this out in another video. We'll go ahead and stop it here. If you guys like videos like this and you want to see more, make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.